What up everybody? It's the Chinese Drama Addict and I'm back at you again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the movie uh, or the Chinese drama, should I say, Rise of the Phoenix. It's starring, uh, what is his name, Chen, uh, Chen Kun and Miss Nini. Oh my god, this was one of the best dramas I've seen in a long time. I did not like how it ended, but I cannot sit here and say that I did not enjoy The Rise of the Phoenix. It is available on Netflix, so please, if you want to go see it, uh, you know, download the app, do everything you need to do. No, I'm not sponsored by Netflix, so don't get it twisted, but that's where you can go and see Rise of the Phoenixes. Um, this story is basically about a prince and a bad ugly fight over the throne as usual however this you got five different princesses and you got one that died and Ning, which is the character played by uh, uh chin chin khan he is basically trying to clear his brother's name he ends up getting locked up i guess in defense of the fact that his brother had died and uh, they were like, his brother's a tree, you know, he's a treason person. If you're siding with him, then you're a treason. So he got locked up. And when he came out, he vowed to find out exactly what happened in regards to that situation with his brother. He has four other brothers. There's a crown prince and then there's three others. And one of the three is out in the borders. And he ends up being called back. Um, one by one, Nei Ying eliminates them. And he does his thing. I have to give it to him. He wears a whole bunch of different masks. He's very manipulative, crafty. This boy got it all as far as being able to set you up and, and get you gone and immediately. I love this movie. I, I mean, I'm not movie, but this drama. I, I It's one of the better ones that have been written. I, certain things I wasn't expecting. Uh, they had plots after plot after plot. And I have to give it to uh, Mr. Uh, the person, the actor that played uh, Nye, I, I loved his character. I absolutely adored his character. His character, first of all, he made he may be a manipulative sexy. I, I I I have a that's my that's my fantasy husband is Mr. Nye. Only thing I can say is is that I have to look at him side and wonder as a person beyond the acting because he got into some acting parts on this that had me stop and say is. Is it possible that this dude may be mean as fuck or kind of borderline crazy, but crazy in a sexy way, though? <laughs> I had to ask myself that. And then uh, being a Facebook one, I follow him on Facebook and things like that. And looking at a lot of his posts, he's a very spiritual person, so I get it. I'm a dark person. I'm a spiritual person, too, and I'm dark. So people may think from, hello, I'm mean as well, or there's a possibility that I could be a, like a very wicked person. But I have to give it to this guy. He can play a sinister character if he wanted to very, very well. It'd be very, very believable uh, if he wanted to. But he is fine, and I like him. And I really do hope to meet him one day. And I hope he stays single so I can marry him. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, him and him and Mark Mark is already taken. Mr. Mark Child is already taken. So all I can hope for is Mr. Got, Mr. Uh Chen De Kun because he is just fine. It's just something about this man I, I just find it unbelievably sexy. And even inside Rise of Phoenix, he, he you can see why he he was sexy. And this boy's wig was off the chain. Oh my God! Ooh, him wearing his hair down long. I was just like, yes, oh my God, he is so fine. That hair was just, him and Mark Chow can wear some long wigs and look good. And I mean like, good. <laughs> but anyway, back to Rise of the Phoenix. Um, Nini, I loved her chemistry with Nei Ying and this. I, I loved them being together period as a couple and they were they were excellent excellent couple if there was a power couple that would be that couple that's what that couple would look like she was very smart very crafty girl i like the fact that she wasn't scared and i like the fact that how she was like a tomboy's type figure she she's very independent she was in no big rush to get married and things like that but the strange part is is that how how fate is 
Nene and and the character Nene, she was, I mean Nene, her name was not Nene in this. I can't pronounce her, I can't remember her name in it, but they were supposed to be arranged to be married anyway. And it's funny how they ended up liking each other and he liked her from the first time he met her and vice versa. And, you know, the all different situations happen in the story that bring them together. They end up being very good friends as well as liking each other, which is, I thought was really, really, really cute. Their whole entire relationship was cute to me. Um, I loved how she was concerned about him and was like, hey, I'm finna break camp and I'm finna go find out what's going on with my man. And he was like, I'm going to kill this dude in 30 seconds and be out here and try to find out what's going on with my woman. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, and how she was so smart to come up with ways of getting him out of trouble when his schemes were like borderline about to like fall apart. This girl came through with excellent ideas to be able to help him out in what he was trying to do. So I, I love that. And then another one of my favorite characters was the uh, big, the head person over the, well, I guess you would have to say he was like the di director. Yeah, he was the director over the Academy. He was, he was funny. I absolutely loved him. I hate how they did him, but his revenge Baby was, was was served cold, baby. I had to give it to him. Like, you don't do nothing to mine, so don't think ain't nothing gonna happen to yours. That old man was good. But um the other character that I was not expecting to impress me so much was Nini's bodyguard, Nayi. A martial arts off the chain. I love seeing him in every scene that he was in. I look forward to seeing him. I, this little boy was amazing. I, as as a martial artist, if you gonna have a, a bodyguard, have a bodyguard like Nayi. I loved him. I loved him. I loved him. I loved him. Wherever I go, wherever you go, I go. That's the kind of ride or die bodyguard you need. Loved him. I loved everything about his character. I loved his loyalty. I loved it all. Um, the Emperor in this. He was not to be underestimated, baby. I did. That emperor was slick and sly, and I was like, yes, daddy. Come on, dad. Be, be that dude. And his story had a twist that I wasn't ready for. So I'm not going to tell you about, about any other story. I don't want to spoil it for you. It, it is a really good show. If you're going to commit, to, it is a binge. Put it like this. It's binge worthy. It really is. Rise of the Phoenix is a very binge worthy drama. You will not, um, you will not regret sitting there watching all the episodes that's in it. Um, the only part is, is that I just did not like the ending. Now, granted, everything can't have a happy ending. That's not life. But I just think a better decision could have been made by Miss Nene. But, um, and to be honest with you, I just hated how it ended. And I, and at the same time, I wasn't surprised how it ended because uh, my dude was, he was about his country. He wanted to make his country a better place. He wanted to get the corruption out. You know, you had families like the Chin family who was on some bullshit the whole time. The, and, and the sad part about it is none of them can become emperor, but they are starting so much crap inside the palace to get the right prince installed on the throne so they can do continue to do their you know their corruption continue to you know use the people hurt the people of the country it was just sad how all of that was but it didn't work out the way that they thought it was going to work out because Nanyi definitely was on top of it i had to give it to him he was he he was the best choice of being an emperor that out of all five brothers that were there could have been. But you saw the chess games. You knew which prince was going first, which prince was going to go next, that one next. But that last one, baby, who playing dumb and crying and all that stuff in front of BJ. He was a mess. He was a mess. He, was, he really was hard to bring down. Very hard to bring down, uh, and and I don't think any of them was ex any of them were expecting that last prince to be the one that was gonna have a hard time. You kind of saw where everybody else's, um, you know, real vulnerable parts were that they would get off like with Nayin real quick. But I had to give it to him. It was really a good, 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 good. This was a very excellent 
whirlwind well story. The costumes were amazing. Um, the scenery was beautiful. I, I like I liked it all and the music. See, that's the thing about me. I'm not going to sit up here and just review a show. I'm going to review everything about it. I love the music. I love the I love theme song between uh, Nini and uh, Nayin's characters. Uh, the, some of the music I've gotten into myself, I, uh, you know, and things like that. So sometimes I'm going to probably refer to some of the music in it and the drama, the, cinem the, cinem the cinematography in this was amazing. Just absolutely hands down amazing. And acting in it, everybody deserves awards. I would be given awards for certain, certain acting. And then uh, certain ones, you know, certain characters got on your nerves. Certain ones you just hoping, please kill him. Where is a flying arrow when you need one? Um, but overall, Rise of the Phoenix was an excellent, excellent drama. Um, like I said, the ending could have been better. I just feel like they they brought us to this point of you being team team Nayi, and it dropped your ass off a cliff. I did not like that. But other than that, the story, excellent story, took a while to, to for me as a as a viewer to get into it. Um, I'd say get around episode seven, and then I'd watch it. You know, and then go from there. Because after that, the story builds, builds, and builds, and builds. And, 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 it's, and it's a really, really great twist and turns. Martial arts is great. And it, it, I mean, they had some great scenes inside of it. And like I said, the acting was beyond superb. So, my husband, Mr. Chun, uh, Mr. Chin Chun. <laughs> I love him. Oh, my God. He made me fall in love with him. On this damn show. He made me fall in love with him. I watched a whole bunch of movies with him in it. And he knows how to be in love. He knows how to act in love. And there's this quiet, how can I say it's this quiet strength about him that's amazing. And and he really does know how to tap into it. And I love him as he's one of my new um favorite characters and, and favorite actors, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to follow him for quite some time and his career for quite some time. I completely have a crush on him. Secretly, when I went to China, I went looking for all of the people that I have crushes on. <laughs> so I know that's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Anyway, my review of Rise of the Phoenix, I give it an 8. And the reason why I give it an 8 is because I hated the ending. But I loved all of the acting Superb. All the actors get 10s. Storyline gets an 8 for me. Other than that, it's your girl Pat, and I will be back later on with another review. If you like this um, video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, if you watched Rise of the Phoenix, let me know exactly what you thought. Until then, see you later, babies. Bye-bye.